today we're gonna do, we talked about it yesterday, come here. We talked a little bit about how we're gonna start taking kind of the next steps here. Here, here. You can see she's super amped up. She knows what's going on here. Um, what I like about it is I can still, for the most part, kind of rein her in here. It's not so stimulating that she loses all focus and I kind of lose her. Although that happens too. Uh, we talked about this recently when I was filming her in the yard and we were doing some real early woe stuff, real controlled stuff. So she's super jacked up. She's like probably on two rails, two wheels right now. Part of it is because I took this out. Now this is the first time that you guys will be seeing this. Here, here, here. Come on. This is the first time you guys will be seeing me put this collar on. I'm just gonna grab a whistle quick. Hold on one second. Come here. Come here. Come here. So that's the part where, you know, there's no way I can get her past that. Like, her excitement was just too high. So I'm not calling her back off of that. So I let her, and there's kind of this trust thing where I know she's coming back. I filmed the first couple times she wore this. I filmed it um, on my phone, so you'll be able to see that earlier, or they'll probably just build that into this one, but there really wasn't much to it. It was just having her understand what it was like to run with this collar. So I'm going to put this on, uh, use it for the GPS. It has the training capability, but we're going to you'll know by now in this series that we're not using that. Um, I just, I have no, no need to and I have no intentions to and I just, I really don't like the idea of it even. So I put it on like that, just so that I can get that, she's about as small of a dog as would fit with this collar. So, I planted a bird earlier. I filmed that little bit when I planted it. I'm gonna put a little bit of this grouse scent right in here just to enhance it i'm tucking it into the weeds pretty good so i don't know how scenting is going to be wind's going to be coming this way so i'm just helping again it, i don't think we're testing the dog we're training the dog here so a little extra scent on it uh, i'm going to leave this bird for a little bit let some scent pool up and then go back and get the guys get the dog and we're gonna work our way through and I envision her. We're gonna take her for a bit of a walk through. She's not found birds here before. So this will be a good test um, to keep her honest here. Instead of having her just run, I want her running and hunting. So this is the first time we've done this on our property. So um, this is a walk that we're gonna take. The value in it is, the reason I put the collar on is because I want, and it just dinged, it says she's on point. So I want to know what this sounds like and what it looks like on here when I'm, when I'm for training purposes. So I'm, I'm using this opportunity to um, get a little bit of a feel for what does it look like, what does it sound like when she goes on point. Now this is the first time I've planted a pigeon. I've got a remote launcher that I'll be using to launch that bird. Um, we're gonna have to play that by ear with the timing. That's what I spent some time with Jerry Coulter, watching him and working with him on some of the planted birds. I'm not a big planted bird fan, to be honest with you, but at the same time, I think they provide some value, especially in more technical training stuff. And this is, that's what this is. So I'm gonna take her out. We're not gonna run her real far before we get into the bird, but I'm not gonna take her right to the bird. So we're gonna have a little bit of a, we're gonna have a little bit of a window the birds, I don't know, a couple hundred yards that way along the edge of a field. Wind, I set it up for the wind to be coming this way. It looks like it has switched a little bit. It's maybe a little bit northeast. It was southeast. We'll just see. Um, I don't want her necessarily real close to me. I'm going to let her free cast. 
And, but I have found that you're running this GPS, she doesn't get that far out. She doesn't get as far out as I thought she was, would um, be running. So we'll see how she does. I wanna capture this because it's the first time we've done it. It's the first time we're doing it here. I put some scent out because it's real green, lush grass and it's in pretty, pretty tough scenting conditions. It's real hot out. So I, I added grouse scent right at the spot where I put the bird um, in the launcher. So I have to balance this and this, and I, this is why I don't like electronics. To me, this is a, uh, not a video game. We're training a dog, but I do have to have control of this to launch that, to launch the bird. And if she would get too close, I have a feeling she'll point it and hold it pretty well. But at some point, she's probably going to push in on it, and I'll have to flush it. And this is really just for me to watch. I I don't really need that at this point. I will fire a shot when the bird flushes. Um, again, lots of kind of a lot of little parts and pieces here that we're adding in, but uh, it could be a real mess. Here, 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 right here. So really good control there. She decided I'm gonna go, no, get back here. Um, that's the value of just simple recall. I mean, there's, and so, I, I'm reminded constantly of why I really am enjoying the idea of not using a collar for training her because there's step, it's something I don't want to have to do. I want to be able to tell a dog come back. So heel, heel. And you can tell she is ready to go. Okay. This is where a lot of trust comes into play. I thought about walking her down that way and making a big loop around, but we're gonna cover enough ground before, between here and the bird that she's, it's not just a run up and hit the bird. But that bell has made a big difference to me of better understanding and trusting where she's at. And obviously the GPS, I have the opportunity to look at it and read the distance if I can figure out how to use it most of the time. There's no bird here. But at times you gotta, you gotta kinda have respect with her too because there are pheasants around. And so again, I'm really learning to try to read this dog. But I see that tail moving. When that tail's moving, I know she's not solid. Now she tightens it up a little bit. Wouldn't that be something if there actually was a bird in here? Come on, come on. All right, you want to stay up with me, guys, because when we do come around the corner, now that that bell, it just the bell just tells me so much because I wasn't running her on a bell before, and man, you just made you nervous because you didn't know where she was. Now that bell, obviously, she's stopped here now. I don't think she's on a bird at all. She's. She's a bit sticky. So it's, this is really good for me to start reading and understanding her. This is where I do think some of the value of a pigeon is, is there. But now we listen and I listen to that bell. I know where she's at. She's, she's only 50 yards, 45 yards. but I don't want to get in her way. I just kind of want to let her do her thing and figure this stuff out on her own, which is where wild birds, I think are going to be really valuable here. Now that it's August, we're going to start running her on some wild birds. But at least I know she's 70 yards, so it just isn't really that far, but I can at least hear it. And the other thing is, is I want to start to read this and kind of connect it to what it sounds like start figuring out how, I mean, I, there were times where I figured she was out 200 yards. I don't think I'd hear her at 200 yards. She's only 75 right now and I can just faintly hear her. Mm. 
you can see here working closer. Now she's at 60, 40, and here she comes. Good. Come on. Come on. So you can go get a drink, I'm sure. I have noticed too that the first 10 to 15 minutes, I would say, maybe 10 minutes, boy, she really just kind of scatters. She, I don't know that she's super focused. She's got a lot of energy. She's running out. And then she kind of gets into, settles into a little bit better rhythm with me. So that just dings like it's pointed, but it's because she was getting a drink. Ben, move over that way. Here's where she should get sent. Logan, come on up here. So the bird's over there. The wind is kind of drifting this way. She just stepped on the trap. So I don't want to launch it right now because her nose is on it. And that's too close. Here, 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 here. Here, here. So, an epic, this is good for you to see because this is how, how poorly it went. So she literally stepped on the trap. I didn't want to explode it on her face. Now, is she gonna point it? Okay, now she's going. And I just got it out. Right thing or wrong thing to do, I don't know, but she wasn't interested in it anymore. So she's gonna run that one. We'll see how long it takes for her to get back. So that, that went completely not the way I hoped it to. So what does it tell me? Good girl. Here, 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 here. Let her check the trap out. Here, here. Come here, good. So it, it went about as well as it went the first time we ran around pigeon traps. She ran into the trap multiple times never pointed it, just ran into it. And then two weeks later, we took her back. Well, actually that later that day we ran her, like an hour later we ran her and she pointed the old spots and then she pointed the actual bird. And then two weeks later, I took her back and she went one, two, three, and she did them really well in a nice open field. This is the first time she's ever done it here. It's the first time we've ever done it here. And she did the exact same thing. just blew right into it. Now she knew the bird was there obviously when she ran up onto it, um, which like I said, I didn't want to explode it in her face. I don't want her to be afraid of it. So, but then what the problem was is she then moved off of it. And so I wanted to get the bird out of there. We did. And we, what did we learn from it? Well, we need, we should do stuff more often like that. I think for her to understand the game. And so do we gain anything from it? Probably not, uh, except a little experience. Um, do we go backwards with it? I don't think we went backwards. Uh, she's this, it, the same would have been true. I guess if that were a wild bird, except that it would have flushed, uh, and she would have just flushed it. 
so we would have seen her flush we would have seen her flush a wild bird this time she found a bird in a trap surprised her uh, and then ended up chasing it eventually it flew away and she chased it so interest level in it she doesn't have she didn't have a ton of interest in it um, until it flew away so we'll redo it and we'll try it again and we'll see if it improves I got a feeling it probably will I only put one bird out um, and that's plenty for right now because I don't want to go through that again uh, maybe more so for me than the dog but that's it I'm gonna bring her back and d disappointing yes um, real for sure valuable to you to see probably so um, I don't think that this series is um, from the beginning it wasn't designed to showcase me as a trainer it wasn't show designed to showcase her as a dog uh, at times it has and at times it hasn't so probably doing exactly what it's supposed to do so I'm gonna put her up I'm gonna read think about how we set this up and um, you know I the other thing I thought about when I set this up was should I put it here I put it here because I felt like it was a more realistic thing uh, for her to find birds in the woods or in the little bit thicker cover I thought about should I put it in my mode area that I have would she have done better in that maybe because that was more similar to what she had seen but you know what that's not where we're gonna hunt and that's probably not where she's gonna find birds so it's time I think she did well there I don't necessarily train to make her look good or show you guys to make her look good I I look at it as well the next step for her is to look good in that field and then look good in the woods and so this is a lot more realistic this is the first time she did it and she fell flat on her face um, so do it again try it again figure out is there easier is there a way to make it a little easier um, and maybe I do maybe I should go back to the field for a little bit and then transition it to here maybe she should get comfortable with the idea of she's never found a pigeon on this property so and I don't think that that's um, because she ne had never found one at Jerry's before and she didn't and she looked like it and then once she found a few she started to look pretty good so maybe I do need to simplify Take steps back you know it's silly that I'm saying that to myself because every time someone asks me I say we'll make it easier make it a little simpler back up a little bit so that's what we'll do with her and we'll see how that we'll see how that works for us good enough though for now